Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm going to supposedly share a personal story. But I do understand that I think my story will be very interesting to me. And I definitely love to share with it with all of you. But I do understand that my story may not be interesting to you. Actually, today, it's interesting. It may be very boring. If I share another old, long, drudgery, boring, Monday story, then I will let all of you won't sleep. So the objective of my speech today is simply, is simply to share a part of my life with you. You may have known me for a while, or you may just know me, but you may not know why I am the way I am today. And that is what this story is for. It is also for all of you to see yourself in this story. It may not be exactly the same for you, but the moral of the story is we'll be able to see that a little piece of you is also there, be crying, be waiting for someone, or be simply celebrating the success. And that will make the story more interesting for you. And you'll begin with me back in today. So everyone look at me as someone very cheerful, very outgoing, very extrovert, very, very whatever. But actually inside me, sometimes you can say me, wow, why this girl so emo? But every time you look at me, you'll be like very quiet, don't want to talk to anyone. I'll just sit in the corner as if I am contemplating something. But actually just like far die in Chinese, like just like wandering off or just my mind just go blank. But why I am like that? And you goes back. When I was born, I was the first kid in my family. It, was, it may be very amazing to you, but I did have a glimpse that when I was born, my dad was very, very happy. I was the first kid that he ever had. And I can remember that he holding me up high, look at me as if I am the center of his own universe. And really, 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 really made me feel that I am the center of his own universe. Not until the time that something happened. Just uh, thinking that he will always be there, save my day. He will always be the person there protecting me. But as I grow up, things are not always, 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 always that good. After my sister, after my brother were born, my mom simply, okay, I need to take care of them. So the poor me was just there. So what about me? Sitting there alone, I'm simply just no one. I'm playing with myself. And while my dad, yes, never mind, I don't have my mom, but I still have my dad, yes. I think he still loves me, yes. But that day, as I finally saw him step into the house, so I'm so happy running towards him. But all of a sudden, when I'm about to reach him, I trip myself over and fall right on the floor and bump my head into it. Bam! But I think never mind, my dad just said, he's going to pick me up. It's okay. But it is not. He simply woke up the staircase as if he didn't notice me at all. So what should I do? I sit there, wondering why this woman called my mom, who's supposed to take care of me, who's supposed to be there for me, when I need her, she's not there. And there I am, sitting on the floor, Wondering I should cry or I should wait for him to pick me up. And wondering why this is the person who's supposed to be there to take care of me, to pick me up, to hold me there before I fall, simply ignore me and walk up the staircase. And what the hell is there up the staircase? That's more important than this precious daughter that he had. 
And that moment I was there, telling myself, if this man that I trusted, that will always be there for me, can do something like that for me, who else can I trust in this world? Who else will never leave me? If the true most dear person to me in this entire world who bring me, brought me to this world, who is supposed to there, guide me, protect me safely, which safely help me along this way, but they are not there, who else can promise and commit to be there? And there I am with this hole in my heart, knowing that I will not have anyone be there for me when I fall. I grow to be stronger and stronger and stronger such that I can protect myself. But at the same time, I do not allow anyone to step into my wall. And I do not believe anyone will be there when I fall. I can't allow myself to fall. And even someone wants to help me when I fall, I say, no. You're just lying. At this moment of time, this story may turn a little bit, a little bit boring. I go to the point of, is it really this dramatic? I mean, I sound dramatic as I'm telling this story. And it is dramatic in my head from past 20 plus years. And the point of this story is simply to ask all of you this simple question. Every single thing that you believe is so true. Be it like me, I need to be stronger. Be it like me, I can't rely on anyone. Be it like me, I need to be strong, independent, anything. Any philosophy that you believe is so true, is it really that true? Is there anything that makes you have that philosophy? And will you be able to identify it? And then now, at this moment, re-examine it whether it is still that true. Because for me, I know it is not. My dad is not there. He will never be there. Because he passed away. He will never be able to make it. And I will not be able to make it to check with him whether he wants to be there for me. But for all of you, you still have a chance if you have some questions want to ask and clarify with the person that is important to you. And re-examining the things that you believe so true, is it really so true? That's all. Thank you. Thank you for such a touching story.